Hi, I'm Frank Cavanaugh, National Sales Manager of McGuire Products, and I'm here to talk to you today about the MGF McGuire Gravimetric Feeder. The McGuire Gravimetric Feeder is a rugged industrial auger feeder that uses loss and weight technology to meter precise quantities of color concentrate or additive into the main flow of virgin material. The key advantage to this feeder is gravimetric technology at volumetric pricing. Typically, this feeder is 40% less expensive than competitive units within the industry. Now let me talk to you a little bit about the feeder. It's made up of four primary assemblies and one optional assembly. The primary assemblies are the adapter frame, the dual load cell assembly, the material hopper, and the controller. Also offered is an optional AGL Venturi loading system which is used to automate the loading process. Prim primary advantages of the MGF are gravimetric loss and weight metering. This is a self-calibrating feeder that eliminates the cumbersome and seldom accomplished calibration procedures that are required of volumetric units. Dual load cell technology provides a balanced, more accurate reading than a single cantilevered load cell. Ease of operation. You set the mode of operation, either injection molding or extrusion, cyclical or continuous. You enter the respective shot weight or pounds per hour. Set the required letdown rate and turn the unit to run. It's that simple. With no tools required for the removal of the hopper, the load cell assembly, and the metering device, 100% clean out is achievable. Feed rates up to 35 pounds per hour on a one inch feeder are attainable. Again, you get gravimetric technology for the price of a volumetric unit. Additional features include a 10 pound capacity hopper, a backlit LCD controller display, the AGL Venturi loader for the automation of loading, password protection for setup, and the exclusive five-year McGuire warranty. Now I'd like to go into a little detail on the setup of the gravimetric feeder. You turn the power on and the first display comes up with the McGuire gravimetric feeder and the software version down in the bottom right hand corner. After a five second pause the main menu will illuminate. On the main menu you have what is currently set up in this case pounds per hour or extrusion mode is the mode that we're in, the letdown rate, and then we have some arrow keys over on the side that allow you to toggle through the main section. Currently only a arrow key pointing down is shown. If I toggle down I could go to the setup, the fill bin, the prime function. What we're going to do is go to setup at this point. I hit enter and it requires a password. 2222 two, two, two is the password. Now you can get into your settings screen. From the settings screen, you hit enter and you can either change the password or change the mode of operation. Typically, where you would be going into would be the change of mode of, op mode of operation screen. Currently, we're in continuous or extrusion mode. If I wanted to switch that to extrusion following or cyclical mode, I can do that by just pressing enter. To back out of it, I just hit back several times. We're going to go into continuous mode. So I hit the settings, enter, mode of operation, I page down to it, enter, I am in continuous, that's what I want. I back out. Now we're set on the main menu again. We have pounds per hour which is continuous. I have a reading of 200 pounds per hour. If I wanted to change that 200 pounds per hour I could change it here with a leading zero and make it 400 pounds per hour. Then I page down to the letdown rate. If I wanted to change my letdown rate I press enter to change this to 1% using a leading zero, I enter 0, 1, 
zero, zero, enter. I am now set up to run 1%. Turn the switch on, the unit begins to operate. It's as simple as that. If I wanted to go into injection molding or cyclical mode of operation, I would page down to set up, enter, enter the password, four twos, go into settings, page down to mode of operation, and change from continuous to cyclical by pressing the enter switch twice. I'm in cyclical mode. Back out to my main menu. Now it's asking me for shot weight rather than pounds per hour. I enter the shot weight in grams. Three, zero, three, zero, zero. Then page down to my letdown rate. I want to change that to 4%. Enter, zero, four, zero, zero, enter, turn the unit on, and it begins operating. Two 10-inch square steel plates separated by four steel corner posts form a sturdy, low-profile adapter assembly. This assembly is drilled with the proper bolt pattern and mounted to the throat of your process machine under the main material hopper. Natural material flows through the adapter. Virgin material flow is visible through the flow chamber, which uses clear acrylic plastic windows and stainless steel baffles. The baffles direct the flow of natural material so the color is dropped into the flow from an air space and is evenly distributed over a steady and predictable flow of natural material. This assures uniform distribution of color into the natural material. The windows provide a clear view of the combined flow. Features include a 10 pound capacity hopper, a backlit LCD controller display, the AGL Venturi loader for the automation of loading, password protection for setup, and the exclusive five year McGuire warranty.